What is a transfer switch? It is a switch that transfers an electrical load from a preferred power source to an alternate source of power. The load is usually switched from the utility company to an emergency generator. The transfer switch has two sets of electrical contacts, one for each power source connected together by the load bus bars. The electrical load of the building is connected to the load bus terminals and can be switched to either power source manually or automatically. The automatic transfer switch has a digital control which monitors the condition of both power sources. If the control senses instability or a loss of power, it will transfer the load to the alternate power source. When conditions return to normal, it will transfer back to the preferred source automatically. The automatic transfer switch must safely make the transition of power from one source to the other. Open transition mode isolates one power source before connecting to the alternate source. This is also referred to as break before make switching. Program transition mode adds a time delay to pause the transfer switch in the center off position. This allows time for motor voltages to decay before connecting to an out of phase power source, which could potentially damage the motors. Closed transition mode utilizes make before break switching which allows the power transition to be completed with no loss of power. The two power sources must be synchronized at the time of transfer. To ensure product safety, the transfer switch must undergo rigorous regulatory agency testing to qualify the product for sale. Short circuit testing is conducted with the load terminals of the transfer switch shorted together with a copper bus bar. A large fault current is applied twice to the same test sample. The first test is performed with the contacts closed and is called the withstand test. The second test is the closing test, which is conducted by closing the contacts onto the fault current. If the transfer switch passes both tests, it's given a WCR or withstand and closing rating. Continuous current testing is performed with a simulated building load connected to the load terminals of the transfer switch. This is called the overload or making and breaking capacity test. The transfer switch is required to transfer six to 10 times its rated current for a defined number of operations. The overload test is followed by a temperature test in which rated current is passed through the damaged contacts until a stable condition is reached. The test sample must comply with the temperature limits defined by the test standard. In some cases, a temperature test is also required after short circuit testing. Endurance or operational performance tests are conducted following the temperature test. This testing consists of thousands of operations transferring 200%, 100%, and 0% rated current through the contacts of both power sources. Dielectric withstand testing is performed following the short circuit and continuous current tests. A high voltage is applied to check for insulation breakdown between phases, alternate sources, and phase to ground. Each test must withstand the high voltage for a period of one minute without breakdown. Environmental testing is conducted to qualify the different types of enclosures and verify temperature and humidity operational limits. Seismic testing is performed to certify our transfer switches for use in various earthquake zones. The automatic transfer switch is essential for the safe transfer of power from a preferred source to an alternate source. A transfer switch will protect critical loads automatically by delivering power during an emergency or planned power outage. Transfer switches are rigorously tested under severe conditions to ensure safe and reliable operation for years of continuous service.